Dear friends in Christ, welcome to the 3rd of December and Saturday of the first week of Advent. It's also the memorial of St. Francis Xavier. He was born in Spain and met St. Ignatius of Loyola as a student in Paris. After his ordination, he went on mission to India and spent the rest of his life in the East around Goa preaching the gospel. He made many converts and fought against the exploitation of the native population by the Europeans. He also went on mission to Japan and eventually entered China, where he died of fever and exhaustion on the island of Shanshuan. Our first reading today is from the prophet Isaiah chapter 30, verses 19 to 21 and verses 23 to 26. And it is on the compassion of God. Thus says the Lord God, you shall weep no more. He will surely be gracious to you at the sound of your cry. When he hears it, he will answer you. The prophet explains the sufferings of the exile as only a lesson. It was meant to allow the people to come to their senses and to trust more in God. He calls it the bread of adversity and the waters of affliction. God does not desire perpetual exile for his people, nor does he want the death of the sinner. As the prophet says, after this experience, the people will recognize God as their true teacher and follow wherever he directs or leads. This compassion of God also includes the rehabilitation of his people on their return from exile. There will be an extraordinary prosperity as their land will produce and their flocks will multiply. God will provide water on every mountain. The Lord promises to bind up the hurts of his people. We are the people of that promise. Obviously, the steadfastness of the Lord never ceases. His mercies and compassion never come to an end. They are new daily for his people if they trust in him and cooperate with his grace. In today's gospel, taken from Matthew chapter 9, verses 35 to 10, verse 1, verse 5, and verses 6 to 8, we see the compassion of God in action. In, in it, Jesus went about the cities and villages, teaching in the synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and infirmity. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless. Jesus teaches the good news of the kingdom, not only in words, but also in action. His miracles were symbols of the wholeness which God brings in the restoration of his people. Like the people of Isaiah's prophecy, humanity has been exiled as a result of sin and needs the action of God to return to wholeness. God, out of his love, sent his Son into the world not to condemn it, but that through him the world might be reconciled to God. The twelve called by Jesus represent the whole of the Christian community who must work with Christ so that this compassion of God might reach the whole of creation. They will bring about the wholeness which has begun in Christ. Go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel and preach as you go, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, cast out demons. Let us pray. Make us, Lord, your true disciples and give us the courage to preach the gospel. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.